is Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today's studio tip is drilling polymer clay beads. Now, I did a previous tutorial and show you how to put the holes in the polymer clay beads, but now I'd like to show you how to make the hole a little bit bigger if you need it to be. Now, um, we did the beads on a bead wire so it has a fairly small hole. I like to leave the beads till I need to use them before I make the hole any bigger because, of course, you can always make a big a hole larger in a bead but you can't make it smaller at least not easily so I was just drilling out some holes for out of these uh, flower petal beads and I realized I hadn't showed you how to do that so what I'm gonna do is show you how I do it now I like to use um, drill bits that I use by hand a power drill is or a Dremel is pretty fast and you can on a such a small bead you can end up um, hurting yourself by you know drilling into your <laughs> hand so I like to just drill the holes larger by hand and this little tool here is called a pin vise this happens to be a double-ended pin vise and you can just um, unscrew the end and slide in your drill bits into there. Now I happen to have some great um, little drill bits from Doug's dad who used to be a dentist so they are dental drill bits but you can find all kinds of different size drill bits um, that are suitable for you. Now this one happens to be the same size as a 20 gauge um, head pin. Now if I just take them straight out of the oven my head pins don't fit they're too tight in there so I have to drill the hole a little bit bigger um, so that's what I have that size, 20 gauge size on this side and then on the other side I have a much larger one I don't know what gauge this would be it would probably be around a, a 14 or a 12 or something um, but uh, you can use whatever size drill bit that you like I also have a tapered drill bit that's used for a Dremel um, I happen to put this one in an old X-Acto blade um, holder. It happened to hold the thing, so it works as well. And you can make your own handmade tools or whatever you like. I like the tapered one to start a hole off with because what it'll do is just make the hole a little bit larger um, and, and nice and cleanly. So I just drill each end a little bit larger like that before I go into um, putting my drill bit directly into the clay. If you have, if the bit is too much bigger than the hole, then it will leave a chip, chips and little markings around the edge of the hole. But polymer clay beads are so soft that you can just drill them by hand. And uh, sometimes if the bead is a larger, you have to come from the other side and just drill it through by hand. It's so fast and easy. It's no need for power drill. So then now my 20 gauge silver pin will fit on beautifully. Now, if you want it even larger, um, you would use the taper bit again. And this is a little um, peacock feather cane bead that I made. It's such a pretty cane. I'll do that from both ends. And then I'll use the larger drill bit. Now, if you don't have the tapered one, what you're going to have to do is start with a small hole and then keep changing your drill bits until they're big enough to the size. The tapered one will help make a nice clean hole just about any size that you need. I usually drill about halfway and then come from the other end and finish it off that way. This way you won't get weird chips on the ends of your at the holes and you'll have nice clean professional looking holes for your polymer clay beads. So I hope that was helpful for you and um, if it was make sure to press that like button that would be great. My question for you today is um, do you have any tips for making holes in your polymer clay beads that you'd like to share? Do put those in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. We have new videos coming out all the time with great tips at, that will help you out and you don't want to miss any. So we'll see you next time and bye for now.